In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a really easy magnetic frag rack that you can use to put new coral frags on to acclimate in your aquarium. It's gonna be super easy, super cheap, and anybody can make them. Hi, I'm Richard from The Beginner's Reef and I'm here to help you succeed with your saltwater aquarium by providing you with great information, awesome resources and really helpful tips. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and anything that I mention in this video, you can find in the video notes below. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I've got a great beginner tip for you that's going to help you from scratching your aquarium. So let's jump into this frag rack. So to build this frag rack, you're going to need basically four things. Cheap algae magnet. I got this one off Amazon for six bucks. Some cyanoacrylate super glue. Uh, the gel type works the best. You're going to need a pair of side cutters and the ones that I recommend are the flush side cutters. Um, you can see in the picture above the difference between getting the flush side cutters and just a normal pair of side cutters. They leave a ridge on the edge of the uh, cut egg crate and it's just no good, it can scratch your fish. And then the last piece is your egg crate. You can get a whole sheet of this, I think it's like a four foot by three foot sheet from uh, Home Depot, I think it's like 18 bucks. Um, it's usually in the lighting aisle, I think this is like a lighting diffuser that goes in suspended ceilings but for reefing it is awesome and a whole sheet you can make some seriously good uh, gadgets for your aquarium and if you check out our other videos, our other how to's, we've got some really good nifty stuff that um, you can use with this egg crate so be sure to check those out. Once you've cut a piece of egg crate off the bottom of the big sheet, it's now time to trim it down to size. If you've got a small 20 gallon nano tank, then a piece this big is gonna be no good. Um, if you've got a 200 gallon aquarium, you might want a larger frag rack to put on more frags. So just cut it down to suit, and uh, just use your side cutters, keep all your cuts trim, and uh, it'll be good. So once you've got your egg crate cut to size, it's just a case of now super gluing the egg crate to the part of the algae magnet that goes inside the aquarium. So it's basically just a case of take the two pieces, set them up as you want, and then we're going to super glue it together using the super glue gel. I just like to go along and just go around each square, just put a bead of gel all the way around. And there you have it, there is your frag rack and it is awesome because now once you put it in the aquarium you can move it up and down the glass to help your corals acclimate to the light so once you get your new coral frags stick them on, put it at the bottom of the aquarium and then uh, every couple of days just raise it up an inch, up an inch, up an inch until they are acclimated and then you go put your coral frags wherever you like. And the beginner's tip for this video is with your algae magnets. Now, one thing you have to be really, really careful of is every time you go to use your algae magnet, just make sure you inspect both sides of your algae magnet because you can get sand caught in the cleaning surface here and all you need is one grain of sand to be stuck in there and you put that on the inside of your tank and run it across your tank and it can put a big scratch right across it. Even with the glass tanks, I've seen it done so many times and it is horrible. So always make sure you check both sides of your algae magnet before putting it in the tank and running it across your glass. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, your frag rack is gonna be a really, really good little gadget for you to use. I've used mine for years, they always come in handy. Just stick them away in the cupboard when you're not gonna be using them and then bring them out when you need to. Really good for acclimating your new coral frags. So be sure to check out our other videos we've got here and here, and I will see you next time.